Oh, you fancy yourself a connoisseur of anime timing, do you? That is truly laughable. You, who can barely distinguish a flashback from a filler episode, deign to understand the subtle intricacies of time in anime, the audacity, the utter unmitigated gall. Your grasp of the concept is as shallow as a puddle in the summer drought. Time skips, flashbacks? You wield these terms like a toddler brandishing a twig, pretending it's a samurai's katana. You understand nothing of the sheer depth and breadth of timing in anime, the ebb and flow of the narratives that span centuries, millennia even, in the span of 24-minute installments. Do you not see, dear neophyte, the absolute power of a well-executed flashback? The raw emotion that wells up as we glimpse into the character's past. A turbulent sea of trials and tribulations that have shaped them, forged them into the figures we now witness. It's a dance, a delicate ballet of past and present intertwined. A symphony that sings the unending tale of cause and effect. And what of time skips, huh? You think it's just a convenient way to age characters or rush the plot? Oh, the ignorance. A time skip is an anvil upon which narratives are forged. It is the crucible where characters are refined, trials faced, and conquered off-screen. Their growth unveiled in a dazzling display of maturity, strength, and resolve that leaves us gasping for breath. A time skip isn't just a passage of years or decades, but a wormhole through which the hearts and souls of characters we've grown to love. But you, you'd never understand. No, not you with your surface-level appreciation of the craft. You who seek only to consume without understanding like a blind man in an art gallery. You wouldn't recognize a well-timed flashback if it slapped you in the face or a deftly executed time skip. Time Skip tripped you up and sent you sprawling. So carry on, oh great connoisseur of anime timing. Continue to wallow in your ignorance, and perhaps, just perhaps, one day you'll grasp the profound, awe inspiring universe that is timing and anime. Until then, know this every time you open your mouth, you do not only expose your absolute lack of understanding, but those who truly appreciate the art, we're laughing. Yes, kiddo, we're laughing. I feel like I've come to a JoJo convention. <laughs> <laughs> I need uh, a breath after that. <laughs> uh, all right, Zeno, name 24 separate anime that have featured a clock or any use of time at all. One for every hour of the day. 24? Are you fucking for real? Okay, fine. Fine. You're putting it out there, right? Okay, fine. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, Full Metal Panic. What's called Death Note. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Steins Gate. Uh, Comey Can't Communicate. Uh, Toradora. Just trying to pick things that are in modern day. Um... Oh, fuck, Gurren Lagann doesn't have any. Um, uh, shit, I don't think Kill a Kill has any either. Um, um, BNA. Oh, fuck, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, uh, Stars Crusaders. Bleach. Um, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Hang Are on, Zeno. Hang on a second. We got you. You said... You we did say you. Dragon Ball Z, so oh, uh, could you please reveal Tim Andrews. <laughs> Is that the whole reason you did this? Yes. <laughs> do I have to continue with the following 15? You're at nine. Yeah, uh, do if I have you to want keep... to continue. I hate you so much. If you feel like actually answering the questions, you know. Fucking, oh, God, I can't even remember what the fuck I said. I'm just going to repeat myself now. Um... <laughs> You didn't even bring up summertime rendering yet. Summertime rendering. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, what else involves a school classroom that really helps? Uh, Kubo uh, won't let me stay invisible. Um, my cat is getting. Uh, no, he's just repositioning himself. He's still making a nuisance of himself. What anime is that? Uh, it's <laughs> a Studio Ghibli movie. Uh, <laughs> is there anything with Studio Ghibli that has a clock? Um, Pat Labor, Tenchi Moyo, Neon Genesis Farty Galleon, Martian Success in Odesico. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat this now. Uh, Gundam Double O, Gundam uh, Wing, Gundam <laughs> Seed, Gundam Witch from Mercury, G Gundam. Fuck, I hope there's one in G Gundam. Uh, Gundam Bill Fighters, Gundam Bill Divers, Gundam AGE, Gundam The Origins. Wait, no, that's 24. There we go. Job done. <sighs> you made it a lot harder on yourself than you had to. I said any use of time at all. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. I'm proud of you. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Hopefully, it should be something a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is well known that if an opening team starts playing, something awesome is about to happen. What in your experience is the best time use of the opening theme during an episode? The best use of the opening theme uh, is when a side character dies. I'm pretty sure, like, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it properly, uh, when Light Yagami died uh, at the end of Death Note. I'm sure the you opening died? theme... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the opening theme would have played during then. Either that or just like, you know, the, the, the wholesome endings to Comey Can't Communicate. There you go. Yeah, that is in the ending to the parts. Like, because, yeah. I'm still, still recoiling from that whole name 24 anime. <laughs> Call yourself a weed <laughs> named 24 anime. <laughs> One piece. So, I have a, this question is a little bit vague, but I think it'll work in your favor. How would you make your own timing better without using any traditional devices? Gee, oh fuck. I would act as. Oh god. Sorry, I'm still recalling off the first question. Jesus Christ, is it? <laughs> that hit me so hard. Right. How I would play this is based entirely on whether or not the sun is up. If the sun is up, then it's time to sleep. If the sun is down, then it's time to work. That is how my brain works. That is how life should work. The, uh, the end. And, you know, it was like, if I'm in uh, a cave murdering goblins, or should I say slaying goblins, then, you know, I don't know if it's day or night time. So I must work on the fact that it's probably night time and they need to be a slain. And if I go out of the cave and it turns out it's daytime, well, I just get out my portable bed. Not a, not, not a, not a sleeping bed, an actual portable bed. It's in my bag of holding. Not including any isekai, what's the best use of time travel in anime? Additional difficulty, this is where I tell you that this may be a trap, but you already triggered it. So, if, if anyone wants to go into that whole, like, you know, looking at time travel as a good genre... Summertime Rendering is actually a really good shout. It came out, I think it was last year? I know it was two cores, so it's like it's like 24 episodes. So it's, it's a really, really good series. And it's on either Hulu or Disney Plus or some shit like that. But, I hate to say this, Steinsgate does it better. If you're into that sort of like esoteric kind of early 2000s bullshit internet where 4chan ruled it all you know that that's the anime for you Steins Gate's really really good I need to watch like the second season and stuff like that wait can you repeat the question again I might change my answer entirely just what's the best use of time travel in an anime but not an isekai oh yeah I'm wrong entirely it's it's the world by <laughs> Jojo's Bizarre Adventure <laughs> video there you go is that travel though that's more like pausing pauses, pauses it he moves around a bit, mm-hmm. and then and then you know he just starts it again. And he's somewhere else. Yeah. Didn't realize you were such a JoJo fan. Are you for real? I'm I'm completely fucking jealous of Jamie because they got the chance to fucking <laughs> collaborate with Kira Buckland, voice of Two B and Jolene Kutra. and I found out that uh, she did uh, another voice. I'm like, God damn it! Yeah, totally Jo, huge JoJo fan. All the JoJo. Recently, I've been playing Honkai Star Rail. In one particular boss fight, in order to create a very impactful moment, they introduce lyrics to the boss fight. But instead of doing it like someone you expected, uh, you would expect that to happen, like when the phase switches, they do it one turn later when the boss when boss finishes charging their first super move. So, in in your experience watching anime, what what would you say is the best use of something happening? Not when you expect, not when you would expect anything to happen. I'm, I'm going to be pretty, pretty generic here and pretty much say anything in Konosuba where one of Kazuma's party does something incredibly stupid and, like, as a result, it's, it's all like, yeah, you, you couldn't, you couldn't make this shit up. Like this, this is sort of like D and D level of like. Just rolling that ones for like the next like twenty turns. So mm. yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. So I I hear you you you're a big JoJo fan. Uh, maybe. And I and I do have a question about a specific ability that I, the, ability that revolves around time. How would you use bite to the dust to your own personal gain? Bite to the dust. Which one was that one? Part four. Um, where you know you go back in time an hour using someone as a conduit. 
クイーン第3の爆弾バイチャーダストあーおーいやいやいやあーえっとあっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっかっ By, like, you know, just, just rolling back time and just like, oh yeah, I, I didn't. Okay, I have some very dear friends of mine. They are lovely individuals. And the number of times I, a fat idiot, step on a landmine and actually offend someone, if I could just, like, oh, hold on, let me just rewind that last hour and then I just avoid that whole line of discussion entirely, then I won't have to waste. I don't know how long I'm trying to work it out. Like, oh my god. Yes, 100%. Avoid stupid conversations. I totally, yeah, a brilliant idea. I don't, um, I'm not quite sure. I, you know what? I'd attach it to my Rhea Scrimmery statue. And, like, you know, I don't want to keep blowing that up. But, you know, I will for the right reasons. It's fair enough. Right, I'm going to try and blitz through this as quick as possible so we can finish the show. Right, all money goes to the editors. If there's any extra money, then that will be spent on other video ventures, which ultimately goes to the editors. Currently, the funds just fall shy of paying for two episodes a month, which means the rest comes out of my pocket. Uh, just $1 a month makes the difference, right? If, of course, you opt to choose the $15 a month, then you will become a mad lad slash lass and will also be invited to join these episodes per month. Or if you decide not to, it's fine. And if that's not enough of an incentive, you get more questions that are exclusive to you in the actual main episode. And more often than not, they're not safe for YouTube, so monetization is forcibly turned off. Here is a snippet from this week's episode. What power do you believe can break the concept of time? I don't want to just be lame and just say the world. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Golden Wind Requiem. <laughs> <laughs> breaks the concept of the universe oh god what's what's uh apart from that what power can break the concept of time you know what i'm gonna break the fourth wall flat earthers so if you're incentivized please go into the description where you'll find a link or manually go to patreon.com slash xenogallion to support now on with the show as you may know, music is the rhythm by which life moves. What scene or anime in general has had the best and most epic use of music tied to coincide with the climax or other conflict resolution that sticks out for you? Did I ask this already? I don't think you have. No, I really don't think you have. Because I was okay. I was waiting for this. Okay, okay. Now, I love the music of Nier Automata. And I love the fact that the Nier Automata anime has actually had the game music put into it. However, I'm not going to be basic. I'm actually going to say the music in Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, Episode 1. Oh my god, every single time I watch the first fight uh, between the head of house Jetuk and Gundam Ariel... And the, the, the climactic music just kicks in. A shield? Better than I thought, but it's not enough! Oh my god, it puts shivers down my spine. Oh, I fucking love it. So good. Okay, this should be simple enough. What is the best moment for, uh, for a character to be hit by an off-screen vehicle? Uh, <laughs> this is this is not something that a mere mortal like myself could possibly predict. It must be entirely uh, dependent on the isekai gods, you know, dear truck kun, like or bus kun or train kun. Right? You know, it's it's entirely depend like you no know, a mere mortal like I cannot ever decide that. However, I do wish that they would actually go to the other worlds and do it again because seriously some of these characters are so shit I they shouldn't exist. I'm looking at you, Isekai cheat magician. Once uh, they once they get ultimate power in their other world, they have to be taken out by Super Kami Trapcoon. <laughs> <laughs> That conversation has kind of got me thinking. Do you think there's an anime where Optimus Prime is Chuck Coon in one situation? I need this in my life. Oh I, my I god! Need, I <laughs> no no no. Here's here's a better one, right? 
Optimus Prime and Truck Hun are dating. But Optimus Prime doesn't know that Truck Hun is actually the god of isekais. And at some point in time, Truck Hun has to isekai Optimus Prime. I'd read that. Would, would, would the title of it be called, like, My Boyfriend is an Isekai Plot Device? <laughs> 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 okay. My love story with Truck Coon at level 999. <laughs> what? Uh, I totally read that. So there are moments in anime where the, the protagonist is thinking for a very long time. How would you describe the term anime thinking to the average person who has never seen anime before? Oh, um, they forgot to actually continue animating the scene. Or they're trying to stretch the budget. Or, actually, to be fair, I, I've tried to introduce some of my colleagues to anime and things, and one of the easiest ones to get into is Demon Slayer. And it's hilarious how so many people don't like internal monologues in anime, and it's just like, oh, I hate it when they think to themselves. Wait, what, what do you do? Do you, do you talk all your thinking process? It's, it's, it's really funny, just watching people just freak out about that Zeno if you could go back in time and prevent one anime from ever being made why would you have strangely decided on bubblegum crisis I like that one Briarios is cool wait say that again I like that one Briarios is cool Bri- Briarios yes isn't that a character from Appleseed yes but you said bubblegum crisis you're right so I did pick up on that okay you did okay um, if it's the first Bubblegum Crisis, then, uh, fine, that can go. But not Tokyo 2040. Tokyo 2040, like, that was powerful. Okay. What are your feelings on scenes that include a timer, but the scene runs longer than the time that is on the timer? Well, clearly that's my miscomprehension of how time works. And in fact, I have sl- I'm slowly getting better at Ultra Instinct to the point of I can think faster than time itself. And... Just the fact that you know, seeing the timer slowly t- click, um, tick down, and things—that is—that is my brain soup going fast enough to, uh, yeah, time. You heard me. Okay. Ultra instinct. Understood. So, this question is like completely opinion based, and I would like to get your opinion on it. What animes do you consider to be the perfect length? Um, whether it be short stories or a series that only has like one season and you feel like it doesn't need uh, any more expansion upon it. Well, I think it's dependent entirely on the series. Like, there's some stuff that, like, you know, it ends on such a nice, heartwarming note. It's just like, if they just do another season of this, it'll just ruin it. Like, again, summertime rendering. You know, it doesn't need a second season. Just, just Tiger and Bunny didn't need a second season. I think the first Shakigana Shana does it need a second season or a third season yeah so th- like th- there's there's so much out there that just doesn't warrant this extra stuff but the proper length i would like to start seeing shows that are actually more than just 12 episodes probably like 18 episodes or something because like sometimes you're watching something it's like that's nowhere near long enough and then you're watching stuff like when battles become commonplace which I finished early today and literally the only good episode in the entire fucking show is the last episode the rest of it is just shit and I'm like this this was <laughs> this was 11 episodes too long so it's it's entirely dependent on the anime, uh, anime itself or even Death Note that just shouldn't exist I mean Death Note was my first ever anime I'm sorry uh, I, I don't know I'm not retracting I'm st- my statement, though. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, st- I'm, still, I'm, st- I'm, st- I'm still recovering. I hope no one's a flat earther here. I, I'm just confused how that breaks the concept of time. Well, it breaks the concept of space. That's space yeah. is related to time. Okay. All right. Technically, you're correct. Yeah. And as we all know, technically correct is the best kind of correct. Yeah. But just because some animator said it doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I said that to the wrong crowd, didn't I? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, bye.